In the future, military units could rely on parasites to protect them from enemy weapons after the United States government gave two of Australia's leading researchers almost $2.5 million to research the potential of worms and other parasitic organisms to help combat chemical and biological weapons. Professor Alex Lucas and Dr. Paul Giacomin from James Cook University received the funding from the United States government's Defense Advanced Research Project Agency, DARPA, and will investigate the use of Helmand's parasitic worms that infect up to 2 billion people around the world to protect military personnel against bioterrorism agents. Your naturally occurring wild-type hookworm doesn't secrete anything that will naturally protect against bioterrorism agents, such as anthrax or the Ebola virus, Lucas told the APP. We can engineer worms' genomes so that it will secrete therapeutic molecules that will protect against those different bioterrorism agents. And quote, Lucas is a molecular parasitologist and he said that the project will hopefully reduce the amount of equipment that needs to be carried or worn by military personnel and medical first responders in conflict zones to protect them from bioterrorism agents. He's been working with infecting human volunteers in Australia with hookworms for more than 10 years. But this new untested research is the first time genetically modified worms will be trialed. It's certainly a collaborative effort with our colleagues, particularly in the US and Europe, who are doing the genetic engineering aspects, he says. We bring the expertise with the project with human experimental infections with parasitic worms, close quote. Lucas notes that the threat of bioterrorism is becoming more realistic as military technology advances and that it is a clear advantage to, quote, have an internal biological solution to counter threats when they suddenly appear, close quote. Six other international universities and companies are involved in the multi-million dollar program, which was initially conceived by Lucas and his U.S. colleague, Professor Paul Brindley at George Washington University. JCU's funding is a part of a $16.4 million contract awarded to research and development company Charles River Analytics from the United States government's DARPA. For TLP Headlines with a Voice, this is Felicia Lockhart.